Hey, everybody. Sorry I can't get through. No, I'm just kidding. I just told my age, huh? I had to take my little hair situation off, but I'm really, really excited about this particular product because I literally just heard about it and I don't know why they didn't do more marketing on it, but it is the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealer. But before we get started putting everything on, I just wanna address this elephant in the room, okay? which is this situation right here. This right here will not let me be great all up in this region, but we're gonna press past that or maybe I should scramble it or blur it. Just kidding. We're gonna press past that because the show must go on. But I will tell you that I have the corrector and I have a concealer, but the concealer is more of my skin tone. But again, when you buy stuff online, it is really hard to see the true color. Now we're gonna go into this BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealer, but this is the corrector and I believe that they have three different correctors, but OMG, look at that orange corrector. That's the BH Cosmetics. And I wish I would have done a better swatch. So that is it next to the LA Girl Orange Corrector. And here is my Makeup Forever HD Corrector, which I don't have a whole lot, so I'm trying to be real skimpy with it. I'm not trying to be generous. So, well, not this time. So that is the Makeup Forever R50 that I've been using a lot. And I'm also gonna be skimpy with my Peach Luster by MAC because you know you don't know how much you have left in here. So I'm just gonna put that right there. So there they are all together. Wow, the BH Cosmetics corrector is really orange. So I'm just gonna blend it out a little bit so you guys can see the consistency of it. Oh, it's very creamy. It's kinda, I mean, I wouldn't say it's not extremely thick, but it looks like it has some coverage. Do y'all see that? When I blend it out, let me wipe any excess oil from under there. Oh, okay. It's really orange. It's extremely orange, but I'm just gonna correct like I usually would. Oh, it, oh my gosh. It's not too bad. It dries real good. Like it's kind of matte feeling. Lord, that's a lot. I'm gonna have to blend it out with a beauty blender though, because I don't want my foundation looking extremely orange. Whoa, y'all, I am heavy handed. I'm just gonna tell you now. I should always just put a little bit. I end up putting too much. That's a lot, That that's a lot. I'm like boop, 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 and then it's like, whoa, especially when I don't know how this operates. But you see how it's kind of getting matte? I think I like that. I really think I like that. I'm not mad, y'all. I'm gonna take this blender, cause I'm not gonna use this one on my eyes today, and I'm gonna blend it out, okay? cause I'm trying a new foundation and I don't want it to turn out too red. It says apply directly on imperfections and blend with a fingertip or BH Cosmetics concealer or detailing brush. Okay, we're gonna look on the site. We're gonna get more info. Don't go ham like I did, okay? Cause then you have to turn around and blend it all out. But even after blending it out, it still does do a nice amount of correcting. Not bad at all, BH, okay. I'm surprised they didn't like market it more than this. And so when I go to wipe it off, it's still a little there. I like that, I like that. Let me tell you how much corrector is in here. It is 0.35 ounces and it is $7. And I will show you guys the specs. Let me look it up on BH Cosmetics right now before we go any further. Okay, so there are a total of 15 concealers and there are a total of three correctors. And then you have a corrector that is pink. You have a corrector that is peach, which is the one that I use today. And then you have one that is yellow. And it says that the pink corrects purple and blue discoloration on fair light skin tones. It says that the peach corrects dark spots for medium and deep skin tones and the yellow corrects purple and blue undertones and dullness. I don't remember which shade I purchased but I don't think it says it on the container but I will list it in the description box and I will put it in the video as well and now I'm going to tell you what it claims to do. It says that it hides imperfections, it neutralizes discoloration and brightens your complexion instantly. It is an opaque liquid cream that gives the appearance of perfect skin to accommodate all skin tones. Mm. And so the benefits, it's highly pigmented formula blends seamlessly into the skin. It definitely does blend, but just with your finger, you end up having to go in with a sponge of some sort or maybe a brush because I feel like it just kind of like sat there and my finger wasn't blending it out like I wanted it to be blended out because it was kind of dark. But it also says that it boosts radiance and brightens complexion. It's clinically tested, allergy tested, dermatologist tested, and it says the pro tip, 
set with a setting powder to prevent creasing. Now we all know that, right? Okay, anytime you use a cream or a liquid or anything of that nature, you always set it with a powder. I am gonna move on to my face, but when I get to the concealer part, I will come back to you guys because I'm in the process of filming a get ready with me video alongside this video, okay? So I'm kind of all over the place, but you appreciate it better because that means my get ready with me will not be like 30 minutes, okay? Now I'm gonna go into this concealer that I told you guys about. I will probably top this with my Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade tan because you guys know I like a little bit of a highlight, but I do wanna see how this concealer works as well. It looks dark. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that looks like it's actually darker than my skin. But y'all, this concealer looks very promising. I didn't use a lot at all. So, yeah. This is nowhere near a highlight. But I am gonna go on top of that with my Too Faced Concealer in the shade Tan because I wanna be Girl, I want, I want the highlight though. I want the highlight though. I promise I am gonna go on the site and I'm gonna order some lighter shades. I was a little nervous because they said that some of them had a red undertone and some of them had, I can't remember all the different undertones, but I got the one that they said had a warm yellow undertone. And um, you know, I didn't know it was gonna be like real close to my skin. Now, I don't know if it's just the Too Faced, but it blends really good. They work, I'll tell you what, they work really good together too. I'm definitely gonna get some more. The concealers are $7. And it seems like it operates kind of like a high-end concealer, cause look, look at that, how it blends. Y'all see that? And I think it gets a little matte. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, blend this out, set my face, and then we're gonna come back to my hand and see how it's looking. All right, so there is how it looks when I set it. It's not bad at all, y'all. Check this out, like, I, it, man. But for the time being, I like it so far. I will let you guys know. I will go more into it on Snapchat. Check out my upcoming videos to see if I continue to use it. But now I'm gonna finish my full face and then I will come back and I'll show you the final look as well, okay? Cause we don't wanna leave this video like right here, okay? Oh, and here's what it looks like. So it doesn't really dry down to a complete matte, but it dries down to a great finish. And look, when I touch it. So when you blend it out, it does get a little more dry if you want, but look how that blends into my skin though. That's close to my skin tone almost, but you see how good that blends? Green, anyone? This is what happens when you legit play in makeup. So I promise you guys that I will come back and I will show you the final look, but just know that when I actually launch this tutorial, did I say launch like it's a makeup line or something? But when I actually upload this tutorial, I will give you two lip options because this is pretty bold. And I don't know if I will wear this whole look out, Nah, I will wear this whole look out. I do plan on ordering a few more because this concealer totally seems promising. And so just make sure that you stay tuned in my future videos because I'm pretty sure I'll be showcasing it, okay? So that is it. I love you guys so much and I appreciate all of your support. And if you like this video, don't forget to thumbs up. And until the next video, you guys have an awesome, blessed day. And I will see you sooner than you think. Bye. And sorry about being all up in your grill, but I had to make sure y'all got the fullness of it. You feel me? Bye. Tiki Beauty, confidence is key. You know what I mean. Uh -huh. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. Yeah. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or a Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, Tiki Beauty makeover. Hey. Confidence is key, ladies. You know what I mean. Or maybe her eyeshadow and mascara will help you see. Yeah. Check out her foundation and the blush on her cheek. Yeah, we ain't playing games. It's the Tiki Beauty. Yeah, Tiki Beauty.